but what is happening right now so um exposition exposition so uh many uh, many moons ago now i think it's now actually been almost five years um i know a long time um uh we put on a production of a musical called 35 millimeter um which has been this musical that will not escape from my standard playlist that will not escape from anything nearly anything creative that i do even as an educator i will use the photos use the music so that my students can interpret the work and whatnot um and it just it will it never escapes what i touch you know in the same way similar way as some of the people here know uh, my obsession with see what i want to see and the timelessness of that which has now been a decade since we did that um so um, so the song that we're about to do is a song I actually, I performed it last year. It's something that I kind of keep doing, but I didn't necessarily, I didn't pr really want to do it this year, but what I wanted was for a friend to experience it in a way that is different from what we may have been expecting for tonight. So, um, so what is happening right now is Sarah, our wonderful Sarah is piecing together um, is piecing to whoop, is piecing together three separate cameras. Wait, three separate cameras, three separate angles for all of this to come together. And um, what I've asked Sarah to do, and she'll explain a little more. Um, uh, she'll explain a little more as we go along, um, or uh, as we go along at the end. Um, Sorry, I'm rambling now. Um, Sarah has choreographed a beautiful dance to this song. I said, you know, I'm curious. I would love to see um, how you can connect to it, what manifests itself for you um, in what is happening in the music. Um, and I remember actually when we did this show, it's a very tough song, a surprisingly tough song to zitz probe through as it is a guitar and a vocalist and really it wants to be played uh, accompanied by the person who is doing it um, and Sarah just let me know how because I can just keep talking about the song and whatnot for forever um, I am ready you are ready okay when you get to your pose I will give it a whirl and we'll get going thank you thank you um, I need to change over to so yes yes so uh, whilst so I will be accompanying uh, Sarah's dance live over here as best as I can let me see let me see. Oh, maybe I'm not. Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. So what we're uh so again, bear with us. Um, you know, we've run this a handful of times, but um this is something that Sarah choreographed um just very shortly. I gave the song to her about a week uh about a week and a half ago, and this is what has come together of this piece. So um as we get ourselves here, I'm just going to check. Okay, and let me do one more thing. Okay, here we go. Let me show you what we're doing. Okay. <clears throat> I saw a devil before me, and he took me by the face. I walked inside a shadow and he kept a pace. I filled my life with sin enough for the world all around. Drowned till by an angel seraph I was found. I'm the angel leads me onward, he watches as I sleep. The angel thinks I've got some kind of soul to keep. I feel him rest his seraph head warm against my chest. Don't know why it should be, but by the angel I am blessed.
now that devil's behind me, hoping I'll trip and fall. But the seraph remains to remind me I can have a higher call. I journey toward a goodness that he exemplifies. Wise and cool and clear and human in disguise. The angel leads me onward, he watches as I sleep. The angel thinks I've got some kind of soul to keep. I feel him rest his seraph head warm against my chest. Don't know why it should be, but by the angel I am blessed. don't believe in God. I think Jesus was just a man. But with you in my life, I feel part of some heavenly plan. You've shown me there is faith without fear or regret. You are a love as close to heaven as I'll get. Mm -hmm. So oh, angel, lead me onward and hold watch as I sleep. I don't know why you think I've got a soul to keep. And when you lay your hallowed head warm against my chest, like divine highest angel mine somehow i'll be blessed so oh, i'll be blessed i'll be blessed i'll Oh my god. That was beautiful. Yeah. Bravo. That was gorgeous. Bravo. Gorgeous. Bravo, Danny. Bravo, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, well, Sarah runs around to turn off all the moving on so again. <laughs> <laughs> Turning off all the cameras. I'll let, I'll that was Sarah absolutely talk. fantastic. Uh, but I just want to thank everybody thus far as we start heading towards um, our next wave, our last wave. I'm going to do insert a really quick plug and just an update that thus far we have raised over $435. Oh my gosh, that's oh fantastic. God, Thank you, everyone. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, because we wrap up tonight in a little bit you guys are awesome. does not mean that the fund raising stops. We're going to piece and throw this all together um, as best as we can um, for Giving Tuesday on over to the Anthony Quinn Foundation. Check out our video for the description of where to send the money for Venmo so we can lump it together and throw it, throw it at the uh, Anthony Quinn Foundation. Danny. Um, so uh, without further ado on this one, a little chat over uh, to Sarah, our choreographer and dancer. Hello, everyone. Um, so as you all know, the pandemic has been hitting everybody hard. And I think, and I, I may be speaking for myself, but I think all of us can say that there are certain things that we love to do, whether it be on a daily basis or it's just a hobby of ours that we like to do from time to time. Um, and dance is that for me. Um, been dancing since a young age. And while this pandemic has been going on, I found myself trying to dance every day, trying to mo motivate myself to just, even if it's for 10, 15 minutes, just to get up, stretch a little, move. Um, and I found that in the beginning of the pandemic, I felt myself trying so hard that I ended up not loving to dance as much as I used to. Um, 
been taking online dance classes, trying to keep the thing going. And also this carpet is very squishy, so it's very hard to dance on in general. I always feel like I'm gonna fall over. Um, so as the pandemic went on, or as it's going on still, um, I felt that ever since I started choreographing for my high schoolers last year in uh, the musical All Shook Up, I felt like I didn't really have any dance that I was working on that was particularly meaningful to me or anything that I felt like I was pouring heart and soul into. And when Danny approached us all about taking part of this, he said, hey, you know, I, I have the song that I think you should give a listen to. Maybe you can choreograph something to it. You know, no pressure. Just let me know. So I said, all right, I'll give it a listen later and let you know. And within the first 30 seconds, I was like, the, between the lyrics, the the whole feel of the song, everything, I was like, I'm in. Had this whole thing choreographed in like two or three days. I was only given this about a week and a half ago <laughs> in general. Um, so everything just kind of flowed and I started out with the chorus and coming up with gesture work, which you may or may not have noticed was kind of like a theme throughout the whole thing with little things changing here and there, but it was just so nice to finally feel like I was doing something that personally and just I like just all encompassing just connected to um and I think sometimes it's hard for us to find that especially when we are in such dark times but I think that if you get a little push like I did from Danny, I think we can all find that spark of the thing that we love and to just keep doing it and realize that it's it's not the end of the road for that hobby or that love or that thing that just makes you want to get up in the morning. So thank you for letting me choreograph this and for singing along to it. And I love you and I thank you for this. Beautiful, Sarah. Beautiful.